Okay, so in this video, we're going to be solving simultaneous equations by a method of substitution. So what this means is we want to rearrange one of the equations and substitute it into the other one. And this can be quicker than elimination, the method we looked at in the last video, if, for example, we already have a variable is isolated on its own. And in this case, we do. We have an x with only a 1 coefficient. So our first step is going to be rearranging this equation to find x. So if we do this, we get x equals 11 minus 3y. So let me just label that equation number 3. So now we've got x uh, rearranged on its own in terms of y, and the next step is just to substitute it straight into the second equation. So let me just write sub substitute 3 into 2. So if we do this, we're going to have 4 times x, and x is now 11 minus 3y and we still have the minus 7y and this equals 6 from equation 2. So now we've got an equation only involving y's. We've eliminated the variable x and we can solve this very simply so let's just expand out these brackets. We get 44 minus 12y minus 7y and this equals 6. So we can collect the terms and simplify this is going to be 19y minus 19y if we move this onto the other side. And then 44 minus 6 is 38. So that's what we get on the left hand side. And the right hand side we get 19y. And then to find y we just divide by 19. And 38 is 2 times 19. So this gives us y is equal to 2. Okay, so let's go back up here for some more space. And now the second task for us to do is to find out what the corresponding value of x is and we're going to do this by substituting y equals 2 into any of these equations it doesn't matter which one but we've already got x rearranged on its own so this is the easiest form so we're going to substitute y equals 2 into equation 3 i'll just write up here substitute uh, into number 3. so if we do this we'll have x equals 11 minus 3 times y, and y is just 2, so we have x equals 11 minus, wait, why did I write 6? <laughs> 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, so 11 minus 6, and we get y equals 5. So together, x equals 5 and y equals 2 forms the complete solution of this pair of simultaneous equations. Okay, so let's do one more example. We're going to do 3x minus y equals to 7. That's the first equation. And for the second one, we have 10x plus 3y equals minus 2. So these are our two uh, linear equations, and we're going to solve them by substitution. So let me just write this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So just like before, we want to isolate one of these variables, so x or y, as uh, an, a function of the other one. So here we can see in equation 1 that we only have a coefficient of 1 in front of y. So this is going to be the simplest to rearrange for. So we can move over the y onto that side, and if we do that, we'll get y equals 3x minus 7. And this is just by rearranging equation 1, so it's still equivalent to it. Let's label this as equation number 3. So now we're going to substitute y equals 3x minus 7 into equation 2. And this is just going to get rid of the variable uh, y. So if we do this, we get x, 10x plus 3y, and y is 3x minus 7. And this equals minus 2. So we can expand out the brackets. We get 10x plus 9x minus 3 times minus 7 is minus 21. And this equals minus 2. So if there's any space left over, I'm just going to collect the terms, and we'll have 19x equals, and then we move the 21 onto that side, and we also get 19. So obviously, just divided by 19, we get x equals to 1. And now let's go back up here. And the second stage is just to substitute this value of x back into any of these equations, and let's do it into equation number 3. This is the simplest form that we've expressed y in. So we get y equals... 3x, x is just 1, so 3 times 1, minus 7. And 3 times 1 is just 3, so y equals 3 minus 7, and that is also known as minus 4. So x equals 1 and y equals to minus 4 is the solution 
of this uh, pair of linear equations. And if you wanted to, you could go back into one of these equations and just check that these numbers do add up and they equal. But this, this is the solution to this set of linear equations.